Steps back, fires a three. Shot short, rebound tipped and taken by James. Here comes James in the open floor. James, grab from behind, count it, goal 10 and one. From the field. Lead pass for Giannis and he puts it down. Nearly taken away, gets it back inside. Jimmy Butler, <laughs> Butler lays it in. University of Texas, Thompson was four oh. years behind him, Irving springs free and lays it in. They were down 10 at the time, they have a chance to cut it to single digits as Harden buries a three. And it's going to be the end of the line for the Celtics as Durant now just fakes, fires, three-pointer, bang! Steph Curry from downtown, a 15-point way, three and a half to go, inside, Butler will flush. We've been seeing some patterns with the Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum led Boston Celtics. Yeah, they do great in the regular season and they do great in the playoffs, but they seem to fail to capture that NBA championship. But this is a new season and they are currently the first seed in the whole NBA and they are looking like the clear favorites to win it all. If Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown don't get it done, then it might be time to look for some trades. I'm going to give you three main reasons to why this is a must win season for the Boston Celtics and the duo. Number one, the league is wide open. If you look at all the teams in the NBA, you will come into a conclusion that there is no clear favorite. The league has been the most balanced in years. And if anybody is the clear favorites, it will be the Boston Celtics. But let's talk about the only threats this year for the Celtics. We have the second seed in the East, the Milwaukee Bucks, which are currently 25 and 11. And we know what they bring to the table. They have players like Giannis, who right now is averaging 31 points and 21 rebounds. We have Dame as well, putting up 25 and seven. And we have players like Chris Middleton, and he's having a solid season as well, putting up 15, four and four as the third option. And even though they need to work on their defense, they're always a contender every year. The second team they need to worry about is the Heat. And as of right now, they are the eighth seed and we can never count them out. So we'll just see them in the playoffs. And this last team, the 76ers, they have the best big man in the East right now as Joel Embiid. And even though they didn't make it that far in the playoffs, you can never count them out. Now let's talk about the Western Conference. The Denver Nuggets just won a championship and they're still top three in the West. And you can never ever count these boys out. I wouldn't be surprised if they made the finals. And who I believe is the scariest team in the league when healthy and when they get their chemistry together, the Clippers. Oh my gosh, they have Kawhi, James Harden, Paul George, Westbrook, um, Zubak, they have it all. And I predicted it back in September. This is the scariest team in the NBA. Number two, how many more failed attempts? In 2018, Jason Tatum was a rookie and Jalen Brown was in his second year. And when Kyrie and Gordon Hayward went down, we thought the Boston Celtics were done for the year. But this young core took the Celtics all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals and was one game away from the NBA Finals. And they lost to LeBron James in 2018. So, you know, they get a pass, you know, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals without their two leaders is already a major accomplishment. In 2019, hype grew tremendously because the narrative was, if only we had Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. And with how this season went, they were better off without Kyrie and Gordon Hayward, to be honest, you know, there was only one basketball, but we said they will get it together in the playoffs and then they face Giannis. And in these series, Giannis just dominated. He did whatever he wanted to the Boston Celtics and they won in game five. Now let's go to 2020. They got rid of Kyrie, the problem, and they faced the heat and they ended up losing in six games as well. Let's go ahead and fast forward to 2021 when the Boston Celtics lost in the first round to the big three, KD, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. I mean, what do we expect? This team was insane that year. In 2022, Stephen Curry dominated the Boston Celtics in six games in the finals. And then let's fast forward into 2023 when the Miami Heat were up 0-3 
against the Boston Celtics and they ended up coming back and we had a game seven to which the Heat closed the deal. And my question is how many times do they have to lose to get it done? Number three, pressure. We've seen what pressure can do to a player. We have players like LeBron and players like James Harden. LeBron, when pressure is on, he performs. James Harden, he just hides behind and he just chokes. So why I'm saying pressure is the reason why the Boston Celtics have to win now is that if they don't, there are going to be a lot of questions for the next season. And there are going to be a lot of questions towards the GM as well. Pressure towards the GM to trade one of the stars. And what that is going to do is that's going to ruin team chemistry which we've seen what rune chemistry can do. Let's take it back to the Lakers back in 2018, 2019, when there are rumors that they were trying to trade for AD and it threw the whole season away and the Lakers ended up not making the playoffs. Another reason they didn't make the playoffs, of course, is because the injury of LeBron James, but I believe chemistry was the biggest reason they did not make the playoffs. If you are Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, you have to win now for Boston, because if you don't, there are gonna be some serious consequences for the future. But this is my three main reasons why the duo has to win now if they want to stay together. If you like this video, make sure you check out some of my other videos right here, and I'm out.